Rothschild. Nothing I say is investment advice. Welcome to the show where we view financial markets through crystal ball gazing. JP Morgan once said millionaires don't need astrologers, but billionaires do. And so we begin. Nothing really that interesting today released in economic reports. However, the markets are prepping themselves for tomorrow's big CPI print. The big CPI drop. This is the biggest drop of information the most important one as far as inflation goes and so if we see this uh, if we see inflation proving to be lower than expected then um, we can expect the cuts to be more secured uh, going into the future which should be overall bullish for most markets if it's higher then it could show that we're looking at more uh, hawkishness from the fed and so then the market will get a little bit scared but at the same time you know higher inflation means that the economy is doing better right so you know we'll see how that plays out the market is expecting the same CPI read as the previous. You see previous here is 0.3% in the core CPI. It's expecting the same uh, 0.3. And so, um, you know, if it is exactly at what is expected at this 0.3 number, I think people will interpret that as really uh, sort of more of a Goldilocks scenario. I don't. I think markets will like that a lot. And I think if it's too hot or if it's too cold, uh, it could it could get a little frothy here in markets. Next chart um, I want to share with you, or the first chart rather of the day. Bitcoin made a pretty large move up today. We hit uh, fifty thousand. Um, backing off from it, I was able to uh, open a short along with uh, Gareth Solways. You know, he's the, as I've mentioned in other shows, he's the greatest um, soothsayer of uh, Bitcoin. His crystal ball is uh, probably the clearest on Bitcoin out of anybody's crystal ball on any market. It's incredible, all the predictions he's made. And so I'm taking a bite of that myself as well. Again, these videos are meant to be as compact as possible to get the most interesting data and leaving out the noise. So that's where I hope my channel can kind of have its place on the internet. But let's move on. Another leading uh, a leading indicator chart, the XIHB, the Home Builders, uh, is popped up even higher today, which was notable. This indicates that people are very confident about people building homes, making good profits there. So um, I found that to be very interesting. Um, you know, the S&P 500 is actually down a little bit for the day, 0.09%, while the Russell 2000 is up almost uh, 2%. And so, you know, um, I saw Gareth's show saying how, you know, he sees a rotation into, um, into smaller cap. I don't know if I see it that way. I see, I think it's more uh, a little bit of frothiness really before the CPI print markets are just trying to like find their middle ground before we get the data and then um, we go from there. This is fairly well evidenced in the VIX. As you can see, we had a pop today. This is not some, this is not a very dramatic pop but it's not staying low either. This is like the middle ground. You know, we could go anywhere from here and it has, again, a lot to do with the CPI data that's dropping tomorrow. One last chart I wanted to share today was the MSOS. This um, is an ETF of cannabis. You know, what, however you feel about the industry, um, you know, that's irrelevant to making money, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, I had, I had been lucky enough to buy... Uh, in this range after I had noticed that it had been going flat for a long time and sell it on this rally and I bought again in around here and I sold again somewhere around here. This has been a very very easy market to make um, gains on and I love it. Uh, you know when you have um, you zoom out on this thing you know if you had invested when this ETF opened up in 2021 um, even at this top here, $55, we got all the way down to $5 a share. And like, I couldn't, re I couldn't resist, but to buy in this range. And, um, 
it's been it's been fun you know um not to make fun of people that might be interested in this particular market for some particular reason but um let's just say i feel like is this gonna sound evil it's easy to take advantage of people that are more interested in the market like this i don't know it just it it does seem easy but anyway uh the the interesting chart information today um i'm not in this fund right now but it's collapsing again i'm expecting it to um continue to collapse you know the this this pattern is um that's a very 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 large uh bearish candle probably the largest one yeah the largest one we've seen besides maybe this one but that one played out to be a a good bull run there so but um you know i'll wait till see if it gets like crazily oversold again i mean this thing you know going between four dollars and eight dollars that's that, that's a doubling your investment kind of a scenario though so th this is a fun little chart to play with that, that i've uh, found and i'm following pretty closely that's all i have for you on today's show i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching rob's child